Tonga Vailoa is expected to return to the Dolphins lineup for Sunday's home game against the reeling Cincinnati Bengals. Tonga Vailoa's left thumb, which was injured last Wednesday and caused him to miss the Jets game, is progressing. The Dolphins will evaluate Tonga Vailoa's thumb further when he returns to practice on Wednesday before making a final decision. Dolphins coach Brian Flores reiterated Tonga Vailoa, the team's number five pick in April's draft, will be the guy starting at quarterback when he's back at full strength. I don't know till we get back in the office Wednesday exactly what the status is, but he's working hard to get ready, Gailey said of Tunga Vailoa and his thumb injury. He's a tough guy. When Tunga Vailoa returns, the Dolphins hope he can continue to make progress with his comfort level, natural ability as a passer, and a greater mastery of the offense in the final five games. The offensive line has become porous, allowing 10 sacks and 17 hits on Tunga Vailoa and Fitzpatrick, in the last two games. The Dolphins' receiver depth behind Parker is gaining experience on the fly with rookies Malcolm Perry and Lynn Bowden Jr. To overcome the depth issues, Fitzpatrick depended on tight ends like Jasicki, who caught a touchdown against the Jets, Durham Smythe, who helped him get into rhythm with three catches in the first quarter, and Adam Shaheen, who sealed the Jets' win with a touchdown in the fourth quarter. Tunga Vailoa must still find a way to grow more comfortable facing defensive pressure while relying on the receiving targets he has this season. Despite missing the Jets game, Gailey believes Tunga Vailoa is making progress. The Dolphins also need Tunga Vailoa's teammates to do their parts. We have to be able to use everybody at our disposal here, Gailey said. I think as the rest of the season unfolds, we're going to have to use these other guys in different and varied ways to move the football in the best way. We've got to use them all.